the reports had actually come. The local uh, reporters there had actually sent in reports that this is the situation. And then the government had <laughs> refused or denied the allegation. I happen to be in a WhatsApp group that uh, is very vibrant with over 250 journalists and so we came together, coined uh, a hashtag that we cannot ignore and uh, yes, and we decided tomorrow morning, uh, you know, let's go big on this on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and any other social media platform so that the message is out there and it worked because um, a day after that, uh, the government reacted. We had the deputy president addressing a presser, saying, yes, this is the situation on the ground. And uh, by that time, 11 people had already succumbed to pangs of hunger. When any situation, any disaster happens, women are mostly affected because, you know, they will carry the burden of themselves and their families. In most homes, there were no men. As you know, this is a pastoralist community, so they keep, uh, they keep livestock. And so the men had taken you know, the goods, the sheep, the cattle, deep down trying to look for something, to, a pasture and also water. And so the women remained behind with the kids. Food ratio came after our campaign. Uh, they, they brought in uh, tons and tons of food. But what came? Maize, beans, uh, and rice. And at times a bit of cooking oil and salt. But nobody took care about, uh, you know, sanitary towels. Nobody thought about the kids needing special milk, especially uh, those be below the age of six months. There was a time when we were driving, we met a truck carrying uh, maize, beans and rice and it got stuck. And the driver was like, I'm not trying my best to move this truck, I will offload everything here. The people have to come to sort themselves. That was like 25 kilometers from the main village where people are staying. And then these women cannot even walk that distance because again they're weak. We, we are journalists, we are media houses, and we are used to exclusives, and you know, I want to own this story. I mean, this is ours, this makes us look special because we've sent a team. But the power of coming together really helps. When there's a big story, we need to plan that if this is uh, the magnitude of the problem or the disaster, how then do we tap in everybody to kind of have one major campaign other than one media house pushing an agenda? So that really helped. Most uh, reporters and journalists have a challenge saying, you know, women don't talk. Women are not like men. You go to a, an area where there's a disaster, men will be willing to say, you know, we have this and this and this. So journalists also need to be trained on how to approach women. Do we approach them by dignifying their failures? or their weak points, then they will not talk because it's like we're laughing at them, you know? But if we are more consistent on highlighting how they should be addressed, the challenges they are facing, you know, then it will be easier for them to speak out.